Hey guys, what's up? It's Pseudo Pluto here, and I just wanted to run you guys through how to set up um, automatic uh, full disk encryption unlock uh, if you have a TPM in your system. So most modern computers should have a TPM uh, subsystem, uh, especially if, like, if you have like Secure Boot and stuff like that. So you can actually use that to unlock uh, your hard disk at boot instead of having to enter in your password every single time. Uh, and that just like cuts down on the amount of times you have to enter in your password after boot. And if you're like me running on Arch, um, you have to reboot pretty often whenever you upgrade your kernel uh, just to like load new modules and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, let's get through it. Um, so I'm using the uh, default full disk encryption that's set up by the Arch installer. Um, but assuming you went through it manually through the Arch wiki uh, installation guide, you should know where to look. Um, but this is specifically for my people who uh, use the Arch installer and they're kind of tired of uh, using their password to unlock their um, disk every single time. Uh, let me just see, this is recording, yeah. Um, yeah, so first thing you wanna do is um, install everything. So yeah, this is using systemd boot um, and mkinit cpio. Uh, you'll probably have to read the wiki to change stuff if you're not running that setup. But as I mentioned, like that's the default setup for uh, the Arch installer. And if you installed everything by scratch, then you probably know what you're doing better than me when it comes to your system. But yeah, you're, um, let me actually open up the logs because I actually copy and pasted before I reboot um, all the commands that I did. Uh, and we can walk through them and yeah. So first you wanna make sure that this um, package is installed. Uh, so yeah, you just install that, I already had it. Um, and cool, so I'm using MK init CPIO and so I wanna enable the hooks. Uh, now let me actually show you um, what the old file looks like. The comp old. And this is a very good practice if you're new to changing like configuration stuff. Always save your old um, setup as old and then your new one as the actual file that gets loaded. Uh, so as you can see here in our old, uh, this is the base, um, probably MK in it, CPIO file that you get with the package. Uh, we have base, udev, auto detect, all that stuff. Uh, we're basically using systemd to replace a lot of the hooks uh, during boot. Uh, so we're using systemd instead of base and udev. Um, we're using SDV console instead of key map and uh, console, I think just key map compared to the base one. We keep block, we replace encrypt with systemd encrypt and we keep file system and FS check. And so once you change that file and you save it, you have to use sudo, uh, you're gonna wanna run a uh, new init ram FS uh, generation. And so this will run through, as you can see, for the new one, we're using systemd, uh, systemd encrypt, and sdb console. Uh, cool. And once you do that, now you can actually enroll uh, a TPM key uh, with your encrypted uh, partition. And so that's what this part is over here. Um, what I do instead, uh, instead of specifying the PCRs, you can always change this. Um, this website's actually pretty good. My recommendation is, uh, what are the defaults actually? This one. So they're saying to default zero plus seven. Zero is your firmware. Um, seven is secure boot state. I agree with that. I would actually add eight and commands and kernel command line. Uh, just so, but you don't really need that for, for this because it's grub. We're using system boot. That's the ones I added for when I was running Fedora and I set this up. Uh, yeah, maybe this one too. Um, 
but really I just like the default one. Uh, I, I think the default does default to uh, zero and seven. Um, and in, my, uh, in another video, we'll go over how to enable system D, uh, sorry, not system D, secure boot uh, on the system. Since by default, Arch doesn't uh, allow secure boot, you have to install it uh, later on. Yeah, so once you run this command, and this is what it looked like for me, um, uh, enroll the device, DPM device is auto, since I only have one motherboard, and that's the only DPM device I have. And then the um, encrypted partition that I want to unlock at boot. Um, now here's what gets kind of weird. So this is the name of the device, LuxDev. Um, that's what's named under the mapper, but then this is the UUID of the partition. Cool. Uh, this command is pretty good for figuring that out. And now what you want to do um, after you went ahead, it's going to ask you for like the password and then it'll say new TPM uh, token enrolled. That's cool. Uh, after we enable secure boot, we're going to run this command again to uh, regenerate the key. If it fails, then it'll just ask for your password. You're not going to be locked out of your system. But if the key is valid, um, then it'll use that to unlock uh, the drive instead of asking you for a password. Uh, but yeah, now we actually have to tell um, the boot process to, uh, when loading up that uh, file system, uh, to actually uh, use a crypt tab, like, like our, our uh, crypt en uh, enroll that we did uh, to unlock the drive. So the way that we do that, um, they give you two links here. Uh, this is all just verifying stuff. They give you these two links. I recommend this one. And all you have to do is you have to um, create this file, uh, etc, crypt tab, init ram fs. And as I mentioned, this would be looks dev, and then that UUID would be um, uh, this one right here. Now, the easy way to check is you're doing this on a lot system, right? You can go to disks. And you can see that you want to unlock this, right? And so it'll give you the UID um, and it gives you the device name, but you'll see that the actual file system is under LuxDev, like that's the name of it. And that's where it's actually mounted to file system root. Um, so that's that's the kind of interesting part they want to do. So uh, I'll show you what my crypt tab uh, looks like. ATC tab dot and it's looked of to UID of um, that looks partition uh, none and then TPM device two equals auto basically the same thing outlined here now you got to regenerate it so back in the commands uh, we did another um, M MK and it's CPIO dash P and after that we can just reboot and bam uh, you don't have to enter in your password every time you boot. Uh, just note that whenever you update your firmware or you change the secure boot state, um, if you have to enter in your password to unlock it, you have to run uh, the crypt and roll command again, uh, this one. You have to run that command every single time that uh, the key that you had existing was invalid. And sometimes your key registers will uh, fill up in your key slots. And so this, uh, wiki page. I'll link everything in the description here, um, as well as like a, uh, as well as the output of this. I'll make like a pastebin or something. Or I'll put it on to Git. Um, and so this is how you like wipe slots. Just make sure that you don't wipe every single slot because the slot is for the encrypted partition. It's not in the TPM. I actually bricked a Fedora install by wiping every single um, uh, every single key slot there. So don't do that. Um, uh, just wipe the slot number and free up some stuff, but always leave like one slot open. That's valid-ish. Um, yeah, just like when you wrap around, just start from zero and like work your way back up. So we're on two. Once I fill this up, then we can go back to zero. Um, and that should be that. But yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful. Um, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And please look in the description for all my sources and everything. But yeah, 
Um, hopefully that'll make your life easier. I know this is a common question on Reddit and stuff like that. So we might make a Reddit post saying, here's a guide how to unlock your encrypted partition using TPM2 uh, on Arch and in system D enabled systems in general. Uh, the, the process for Fedora is very similar. You're just using uh, Dracut instead of um, MKNet CPIO. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys found this video informative and I'll see you guys later. Pseudoplutter out.